back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, and if you're new here, hello! My name is Ashley, I run things here at Oak Rogal, and it's Monday. Monday is grocery haul day, it's Friday for me. Um, I actually had planned on going grocery shopping tomorrow, but then I thought, you know what, like I kind of got like an itch. I was like, you know what, I got my list done this morning. I hadn't done my list yet, and I got it done this morning, and I was like, the list is done. Once Cernan gets home, he went out with Daisy to run some errands. I was like, once he gets home, I'm just gonna go so that I can do it and be done. So I actually went shopping today and I'm excited to share it with you guys. If you are new around here, this is the part of the hall where I like to chat, I like to talk. I kind of give um, y'all an update if there's anything I feel like life-wise I need to update you guys on. And then I do chat a bit about like maybe my, my shopping experience today, my meals for the week, um, and things like that. So if that's not something you're into, I totally understand, but still stick around. There's always a timestamp in the description box um, as to when you can forward to the actual food, the actual haul. All right, first things first, it's 5.30 on a Friday afternoon, so I am enjoying a glass of bubbles. This is the Le Grand Cortage uh, Brut Rosé. I got this at Barron's. It was definitely more than I would normally pay for wine. It was $15, but I just thought, I'm gonna treat myself. I'm gonna treat myself. So, cheers to that. Ooh, it's delicious. Mm mm mm. Yum. I can't. I, I'm not. I can't really get down with sweet, um, sweet wines, especially when it comes to bubbles. And this is, this is like third sip worthy. <laughs> this is delicious. Okay, so kind of the only like life update I have for y'all. If you watch the vlog that I posted this week, my What I Eat In A Day video. Uh, I chatted about the dogs and how they are going through a rough time. Long story short, I'm fairly certain that they are, or were very shaken up from us being gone for six days. We went on a vacation or staycation, essentially. Um, and I think that they were, that just like really messed with them. As of today, um, all, all is good. They are eating the expensive dog food <laughs> that I bought. Um, but they're eating and that's what matters. They're eating, they're having normal bowel movements and um, behavior wise, they're, they're, they're doing much better. Um, Samson is, that's our older dog, he's still a little skittish. Um, and I find him like waiting at the top of the stairs looking at the front door frequently. Um, so I think there's still a little something there but all I wanted was like their GI tract to be good to go and for them to be eating and that's happening. All right, so let's chat about this week. All that being said, let's chat about this week. Um, in terms of meals this week, I feel like my meal planning is, you know, specifically dinners because those are kind of the more the meals that I that I'm planning uh, is is following kind of this pattern that I've been having since switching to low carb of wanting and enjoying options. Um, I feel like I can kind of check the box of you know, options for breakfast, options for lunch, um, snack stuff. But when it comes to dinners, I've, I have felt kind of like in a box. I've really been trying to go through stuff in my freezer. So it's been a lot of like things that don't take a lot of effort, which I love. That's great. Like I love kind of having those meals throughout the week where I'm not stressing about dinner because I know that it's easy. I know I can toss it in the air fryer. I know I can throw it in the oven. That being said, I love to cook. Like I love cooking way back in the day, pre-Daisy. I think it was it was like six months to a year before Daisy was uh, born. I actually had a food blog, like a cooking blog. And I love it. And I, I'm, I'm wanting kind of that, um, what am I trying to say? I'm, I want to like bring that out of myself again. And so um, similarly to me being really bored with kind of how I was um, eating on keto and that type of thing, now that I'm in the swing of low carb, these last few weeks, I've been really bored with dinners. And so when I made my list this week and I really thought about what I wanted to eat, like we are cooking stuff. Like I'm definitely doing wings one night and I'm doing quesadillas, but other than that, like we're making our own spicy ragu um, pasta sauce. We're doing a Parmesan crusted cod. Uh, I'm gonna make blackened shrimp and lime, uh, cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Uh, I'm gonna do ranch chicken thighs in a salad. So. I'm really, I really want to fall in love with cooking again. And I don't think I ever felt out of love. I just think that um, you get into this groove of things being so easy, like especially when I have, have had so much in my freezer. Um, and that worked good for a while, but like now I'm ready to kind of let 
my creative cooking juices flow. So that's what we're eating for dinners this week. For lunches, I'm doing a beef, tomato, and pasta. I'm using my Bonza chickpea pasta, like stew, essentially. Um, that will be in there if I want to enjoy, but I have a different plan. We will get there uh, once I start going over the groceries as to what I'm gonna eat um, for lunches. So that will be mainly for certain. I want to talk about how much I spent in this in this little portion in this segment uh, I normally save that for the end if, if you're not new around here you know I normally uh, show you everything I got and then tell you how much I spent but I'm gonna do that now because today I went to Barron's and um, if y'all watched last week's video I tried going last week and there was a power outage and I was really bummed because Barron's is a local market here and while it's not the most expensive grocery store around it's also not the cheapest and uh, I, I Planned on shopping last weekend knowing full well I would probably go over budget and I did the same this weekend because the power is back, <laughs> they're up and running and I really wanted to go because they just have really cool stuff, they have a lot of low carb options, a lot of keto friendly stuff and so I went and I was able to get everything on my list except the Bonza. Um, I actually have leftover Bonza that I'm going to use in that lunch. Um, lunch meal, lunch soup, but I need the bonza spaghetti for my ragu sauce. So I am going to have to run to Sprouts um, at some point this week and pick that up. That being said, here was my list. I mean, we're talking about a pretty hefty list and I spent $135, which is really, really good considering that the wine I got was 15 bucks. Um, and then as we go through everything, there are a handful of things that weren't even on my list that I have just been wanting to try or that I saw today and wanted to try and just like tossed in there. I am very happy with that. And I'm, I'm glad that I went shopping there today because I've kind of, even though I know it's not the most expensive, it's not whole food status. It's a little, a little cheaper than that. Um, but I've kind of had it in my head that like, it's more of a place where I will just like run up and grab something if I'm out of it or uh, if there's like a specialty thing that I need or if I just want like a handful of fun stuff, um, you know, go up there, drop like 50 bucks. But after doing this trip, especially calculating in the more specialty things and those were the more pricier items, I can do a grocery trip there within budget, no issue. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm really excited to share with you guys what I, what I picked up. I'm not gonna tell y'all prices today. You know I'm kinda hit or miss with that anyway, but there are a handful of things that like, I remember the price or the price is on, you know, the label or whatever, so we'll kind of chat as we go. But let's, let's just jump into it. All right, let's start with some produce. I picked up just a regular old bag of lettuce. I'm gonna use this for lavash wraps this week. That's gonna be my plan. I'm either gonna do like kind of like a chicken salad or a chicken lavash wrap and I'm gonna toss lettuce on there. So I just needed some plain greens. So I got that. I got two bagged salads, the Steakhouse Wedge and the Buffalo Ranch. This one um, I got a, maybe like a month ago or so. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. So I've opted for that one again. And then Buffalo Ranch is just always a good go-to. We got some carrots, some broccoli that I plan on roasting one night, some celery, cilantro, two white onions, three massive lemons, um, and then three limes. All right, to the dairy. I picked up a carton of egg whites. I really like egg whites, and I like that they are lower in calorie than just a straight up egg. I'm really trying to pay attention to my calories as of late, carbs as well, obviously, but um, I really wanna make sure that I, I'm you know, having a calorie deficit at the end of the day. So I got those. I love eating these with some goat cheese. Um, sometimes I'll throw in like some cotija cheese or Mexican cheese and hot sauce. Love it. Then I got just a standard carton of eggs. I got two things of they're like in-house cheese. So this was 360 for this huge thing of parm. And then this was 267 and it's the same, it's eight ounces. It's the same amount you would get in a bag. And the bags there were four, $4. I think they were 399. So definitely cheaper to do it this way. This is just a Jack and Cheddar um, blend. And then I just picked this up as like our snack cheese. I've kind of been going back and forth. Um, I've been getting like, you know, cheese sticks and stuff like that, um, or I've been buying like an actual block. So this is the Soul Spice um, cheese and it's Korean spices and Monterey Jack cheese. Macros wise, you can see 110 calories, nine fat, zero carb, and seven protein. I think Sternin's gonna really like this because it says it's supposed to be spicy. All right, meat. I got a thing of 80-20 ground beef. Um, this, this was, this, ugh. this was the only type of like 
sausage that they had that was like bulk that wasn't lynx um they had a variety of flavors i opted for the nana's original italian sausage this is going to be for my ragu this was eight dollars <laughs> but look at how clean it is pork water salt red pepper black pepper fennel i mean you can't beat that and macros wise we're looking at 140 calories 11 fat one carb nine protein i know that's like really tiny but i'm really excited to try this i mean if i can afford it i'm happy to splurge on me especially if it's expensive because the ingredients are cleaner so i will definitely keep y'all posted about that and then i am doing um like i said a parmesan crusted cod um fish so i picked up this one that has two fillets they had like a lot that were just one big slab but this one's already cut and that was 9.45 all right beverages here is that um rosé that i'm currently drinking i got these for cernan just kind of as a treat he loves these draft lattes we actually have a mall um in the san diego area that has the la colombe like coffee shop in it and so so good so i got those for him and then i couldn't pass up this are you kidding me so Y'all know I have a soda stream now, so I never haul sparkling water anymore. But when I saw this, I was like, oh, no, no, no. We have to we have to try this. This is the LaCroix Coconut Cola. Now, I've tried the cola one, and I really, really like it. When I saw coconut, I had to snatch it up. Y'all, they also had coffee cola, and they had another one. I think it was Cubano Cola, and it was supposed to have, like, a rum and cola flavor. It wasn't spiked. It was just the rum flavor. So pumped about this. To the frozen, I picked up some corn. I'm gonna be doing quesadillas and I'm gonna to toss that um, into those. And then this, y'all, I have had my eye on these for a couple a couple Barron's trips now. I, I would say maybe the last three times that I've been to Barron's, I've seen these and I haven't picked them up. I almost bought them when I went a couple weeks ago with my mom, but they're $10. And you don't get a ton in here like it is not the biggest bag but i wanted to try it so bad so this is by the brand cola power these are their spicy ish chicken tenders they also have a non-spicy um version and you can see here for two pieces it's 120 calories one and a half fat 11 net carbs and 16 protein i am so excited to try these this is definitely not something that even if i like it that i would buy on the regular because 10 bucks for this what is this 14 ounce bag is 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 a hefty price tag but i'm really excited to eat this over that lettuce that i picked up or like i said in a lavash wrap kind of doing like a buffalo chicken um wrap i will i mean all of this this you know kind of newer stuff i will definitely keep you guys posted but i think these the, these are what i'm most excited about because i've had my eye on them the longest all right and our last our last little section here um i say that like there's not a lot of stuff and <laughs> there's a ton of stuff everything from the aisles i needed spices because i'm making like actual recipes i needed to get spices so i picked up some thyme i needed some fennel seed uh we were out just straight up out of cinnamon which daisy uh likes with her toast in the morning so i got another one of those some ranch dip this was a just spur of the moment purchase i have tried this brand before i really like it this is their everyday doll it's the green garbanzo corn and coriander i just feel like this is a really good side dish um i don't have any plans for it as of yet but i'm just gonna toss it in the pantry you can see there it's 13 net carbs a serving so i feel like this is perfect for like a really low carb chicken dish or maybe if we have steak you know something um some type of meat that's zero to no you know low to no carbs um having this on the side i i'm really excited to try some capers i got some refried vegetarian black beans broth beef broth some diced a huge thing of diced tomatoes and then i picked up this thing of tomato paste i just feel like while a can of tomato paste is cheaper i think it was 89 cents and this was like 249 i never use a can it always goes to waste like i scoop out what i need and then i get rid of it because the chances of me making another recipe in the near future needing tomato paste are slim to none so i'd rather have this i feel like it's less waste that way um so i picked that up i got these for daisy she um honestly the non-dairy yogurt if it's not in a pouch she's very less less likely she's a lot less likely to eat it and the only place i can find non-dairy yogurt in a pouch is target um, and I obviously wasn't going to make that run today. So I ended up getting these. I have seen these forever. I mean, since she was like, you know, 
eating out of pouches like since she was eating solids and I've never bought them I feel like these are really gonna help her because she has been having some tummy issues um, with not being able to go to the bathroom and so I feel like these are really gonna help so I picked up five of these chia squeezes in all of these pouches chia seeds is the first ingredient and I've used that with her before to just kind of like get things moving and it tends to work so um, these will be for the mornings and then my last um, my last purchase my last aisle item I have never tried these either I've seen people in the keto community and the low carb community um, you know picking these up eating them these are the tomorrow's tomorrow's carb wise um, tortillas these are the garden veggie they also had the sun-dried tomato and the honey wheat um, I opted for this one because I felt like it was the most would I felt like it would be the most neutral tasting uh, so you can see on here all the macros 60 calories six net carbs four protein eight fiber so uh, excited to try those essentially I'm just very excited like I just feel like I got a lot of new things that I'm really really excited to try um, again most excited to try these bad boys like I see them every time I walk through that freezer section and I just can't bring myself to, to spend the $9.99 um, so, you know, again, with the price point of that, that being said, like 135 for the week when I got a handful of very pricey items, the chicken, the wine, the beef, I mean, adding up those things, just those three things, that's what, 20, 25 plus eight, 33 bucks. So that, I mean, take out those and I would be right at about a hundred bucks. So I'm, re I'm really like pleasantly surprised and it was just a really nice shopping trip um so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed and drop me a comment down below have you tried those call of power chicken tenders or have you tried the two marrows i'm sure there's a handful of you that have tried these because i see these tortillas everywhere um and yeah that's all i got for you today friends i will see you on wednesday with a what i eat in a day bye